Hi, for today's topic, I'd like to cover the correct steps on how to enter a bounce check into SQL Accounting. So let's say today we would like to create a payment to a supplier. We come to supplier, we come to supplier payments, and we press new. Alright, so for today's example, we use DESA office. And let's say we are going to pay on the 23rd of June, paying for Maybank account and paying 120 ringgit. My check number is 12345. And I'm going to pay and knock off this invoice. Alright, so once you're done, you just press save. Okay, so let's say in the month of July, the check has been bounced, okay? So to do the bounce transaction, all we just need to do is we must find back this particular PV. We click edit here. And in this screen, you will see the blank space right here. You can just right click here and we can set bounce status. So once we click bounce status, we check here, bounce. And of course here we can put what's the bounce date. So let's say today is 1st of July, the check is bounced, we press 1st of July, we press OK. And the system will show that this is a bounce check payment. And once we're done, we press save. And then we go back to browse, it will show as a red color showing that this transaction has been cancelled. So when this is cancelled, let's say if we want to check back, we just press new. When we press the start office, you can see the check uh, knockoff has been removed and this invoice is still outstanding all right so let's say you check your bank ledger all we just need to do is come to gl report print ledger report select the date from 1st of june all the way to 1st of july 2020 select say me bank and once we apply you can see that this is the double entry, a uh, credit and then a reversal entry of debit $120. Okay, so we hope that you find this guide helpful. Do like and subscribe to get notified when we release a new guide on how to use your SQL accounting more efficiently. Thank you.